Hey, welcome back to the second part of physics tutorial. As I said in the last video. Now we are going to work with her hair and accessories. There are two ways to make them. One is using a plugin, and the other is using cloth simulation. I'm going to start with the plugin, called Wiggle Bones. I will leave the link in the description. So, let's begin. This plugin is easy to use. It work using the armature of our model to simulate physics. Is very similar in the way in how MMD make it. All models in MMD have bones in their hair, as you can see. In her accessories we can use the plugin too, because it have bones in it. So let's begin. We go to pose mode. And you will see here this bones control the hair. Now to start with physics, I'm going to select all the bones in both sides. Then we go to the green bone tab. And we will find the wiggle bone options and check it. Here we have some parameters, we have to play with them. But now, if we play our animation, you will see the difference. Hair is moving. But in weird ways. So we have to play with those parameters we saw before. Just to make it look more realistic. Always remember to have selected the bones to change the values. Here, I will leave a link to another video where explains this values. But you can try and copy my owns. Now let's see the difference. For me looks better now. Disadvantage of this, we don't have collisions, and only we can move parts with bones. Now we can do the same process with the rest parts. And the last step, we have to bake it. In options, we just click on bake wiggle. This will freeze you PC for a while, until baking is done. It will depends in how long is your animation. Now we are done. No, you can swap between frames to check the result. Here we have finished with the plugin. Now we are going to work using cloth physics to simulate it. To start using cloth physics as hair physics is the same way like the last video. Separate by material your model. As you can see, hair is just in one object, but I'm going to separate its tails to work better. But first remember to merge points. Selecting all points, then press M, and by distance. Then, to separate the tails, we just select them. Then press P and select the option. By selection. Now is ready. And I'm going to start working with this part of her head. I'm going to work with her hair tips. 
To do that, first I'm going to make a vertex group. And I'm going to select all the points that I don't want to make to move. Just watch. The selected part is the one we don't want make to move. Now, let's make the vertex group. Remember, is the same process like the last tutorial. Click on plus button, rename the new group to remember it later, then click assign. Now we can start with physics. Go to physics tab and select claw. It's time to play. In cache tab. First thing to do is change the amount of frames, my case 4609. Then, this will happen if we not apply the vertex group we created before in shape tab. So, go to the shape tab and in pin group, put your vertex group. Now you see the difference. I'm gonna adjust the camera to watch it better. As you can see, it looks more realistic. Now we have physics, but we still need to do more things. One of those things is to reduce the movement. To prevent this to happen. And no one of you want that, me neither. To solve this. In physics options. First thing is to activate the pressure and change the value, I'm gonna use 5. And we activate internal springs too. Here we gonna play with the value in degrees, by default is in 45. We are gonna lower this value. This will be different for every model. You gonna have to play with it until you get the result you want. Now you see the difference is not moving too much. Next thing, you can see it pass through the face. To solve this, we are going to make a collision mesh. So, let's start adding a new sphere. And we are going to put in her head. I'm rename it to find it faster later. So, let's put it in her head, watch me. And let's try and make it take the form of the head. This is perfect. Now we have to make it to move with the head. 
So, I'm gonna activate the armature. And first we select the sphere, then, maintaining shift, we select the armature. Change to pose mode. And select the head bone. Then go to Pose, Parent, and select Bone. Now the sphere is going to move with the head. To make the sphere to no appear in final render just follow this. Let's find it. Then we have to activate this options. Camera and the screen. And we disable the camera. The screen is to disable the object on the scene. Now let's add collisions to the sphere. Change to the lower value this both options. Let's see what happens now. Well, let's reduce the collision distance of the hair. And make the sphere a little bit smaller. A little bit more. Perfect. Now the hair is not gonna pass through the face. At this point, we finished with this part, and we can bake it. In Cache tab, I recommend to activate Disk Cache, and click Bake. And wait until it's done, remember, it will take depending on your PC performance. Now is time to work with her tails. Same process. Select the points to make the vertex group for the shape. and create the vertex group. Now add cloth physics. Add the pin group and shape tab. Change the amount of frames in Cache tab. Same like before, activate pressure and set a value. Activate internal springs and lower the value too. As I said, is exactly the same process.
Easy. Just remember to play with your parameters until you get the result you want. At this point we are done with her tails. For the rest of parts, in this case, the ones in her back, there's no more reason of explanations, is exactly the same process, separation objects, merge broken points, vertex groups, etc. If you want to make collisions with arms or back, is same like the sphere. In arms you can put cylinders, in chest or back you can put a cylinder too, or just a cube. Here show you the process. Now you see it have collisions with shoulders and arms. Remember to bake physics. Now, if you want to see how I made the physics of her back, I let the video for you.